I got some Kali uh, sword fighting drills for you guys today. So, number one thing is that if you have a Kali stick, grab it. Okay, if you do not have a Kali stick, then head over to my store over at KaliCenter.com and go order yourself a pair or two of traditional, high quality, high grade rattan Kali sticks. Okay, we use rattan. This is the best material to use for your sticks. But, like I said, these are sword fighting techniques that I want to be sharing with you today. So, if you uh, have something better than this, like a training bolo, then go ahead and grab that. All right, check this out. Okay, right here. We now carry our own training bolos that are hand forged at our store over at KaliCenter.com. Look at this. It's got the logo on it. Hand forged, beautiful, beautiful training swords. Again, these are training bolos. So they are dulled out. They won't cut you if you run your hand like this. They're blunted on the tips, but these are real hand forged steel trainers. So they have the real weight and the real balance of an actual fighting sword for Filipino martial arts. Again, we carry these over at our store, so you can go ahead and grab them over at KaliCenter.com. Got the links down below. Let's go ahead and get to today's Kali sword fighting techniques that I want to share with you right now. Now before we get started on these sword fighting techniques, do me a quick favor, smash the thumbs up button, leave me a comment below. Best comment is going to get a free pair of sticks. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick somebody who has the best comment, you're going to get a free pair of sticks. Okay, we're going to send them to you. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you got a training bolo, grab it. If you don't, grab your stick. Let's rock and roll. Very first thing I want you to learn when it comes to the Kali sword fighting techniques. Again, this can all work with the sticks as well, but Kali is a blade art, and then we can transfer that skill to the impact weapon or the empty hands. But these are the first movements that I want you to learn. From here, we're going to strike down our angle one, strike down our angle two, strike up our angle three, and then again, we're going to strike down the angle two. Or you can strike a backhand horizontal just like that, okay? But these are the movements. I want you to learn this pattern right here. Down the angle one, down the angle two, so we're making a big X, up the angle three, and backhand horizontal right there. Okay, work those four movements. One, two, three, four. Or you can come back down another angle two. Okay? So one, two, three, angle two. One, two, three, horizontal. Okay, work that out. Take, uh, put the video on pause and take like 60 seconds and get a few reps in. I'll wait. Okay. Next thing I want you to learn, do this with me right here. We're going to go into an inside deflection just like this. Okay, left hand is going to go on top of your right wrist. Then we're going to cut up this line right here and thrust. All right, show that again. Go into what's called inside deflection. Left hand on top of the right wrist. Cut up. Thrust. Do it one more time with me. Inside deflection, cut up, thrust. Now we're gonna go to an outside deflection. We're gonna cut it in a circular fashion like this and then thrust with the palm down. Okay, got that? Do it again. Outside deflection, circular cut, thrust with the palm down. Let's put those two movements together real quick. Inside deflection, cut up, thrust. See the palm is down? Outside deflection, Cut, circular down, and thrust. Do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, again, pause the video for 60 seconds, get some reps in. I'll wait again. Third part that I want you to learn is we're gonna go into a parry and then thrust with the palm up, just like this. And then we're gonna draw it back, go into an outside parry and thrust with the palm down, just like this. Okay, let's do that again. Take a look at the footwork. Inside parry as I step to the right and then right foot forward as I thrust. Okay, bring it back. Left foot steps out as I parry to the outside and then left foot steps forward and thrust. Okay, one more time. Parry and thrust, parry and thrust. All right, pause the video, learn part three, take 60 seconds, get some reps in. All right, let's put all three parts together 
into one kind of sequence, one kind of mini short form. So from here, part one, cutting down all those slashes. Part two, inside deflection, cut up, thrust. Outside deflection, circular cut, thrust. Part three, parry and thrust. Parry to the outside and thrust. Okay, let's take a look at that from another angle. Follow me. Section one, one, two, three, two. Section two, deflect to the inside, cut up and thrust. Deflect to the outside, cut circular and thrust. Parry inside for section three to the thrust. Parry to the outside and thrust. All right, no talking. Let's go ahead and get a couple reps in. Come with me to my collie arm. I want to show you something real quick about these moves. Okay, some uh, application. All right, I got my little collie training apparatus here. I call it my collie arm or my collie dummy. And uh, guys, this is really easy to build. I just built this, okay? I got a four by four post. I put a little uh, four corners base down to it. I extended a little arm and then I just threw a rattan stick into this uh, it's like a car CB uh, spring for uh, holding a CB antenna or a radio, okay? So it's very, very easy to build. I just screwed everything together. It's not complicated at all, okay? I'll, I'll go ahead and show you guys a quick picture right now. Just kind of give you guys a little up and down scan in it right now so you can take a look at it. Okay, so let's take a look at these uh, sword fighting techniques from Kali. Kali is kind of unique because the first method that uh, the sword fighting has is we want to immediately disarm our opponent. Whether we are on the offense or on the countering side, we want to take the hand. So we can strike our one, we can take the hand with the two, we can take the hand with the three, we can take the hand with the horizontal right here. Basically what it's showing is that the primary movements, the primary cuts that you're going to take the hand with at the long range is with diagonal strikes and horizontal strikes. That's not to say you can't take it with a vertical strike. Obviously you can, but primarily most of the time, especially if you're a little bit further apart, you're going to be using diagonal and, and uh, horizontal strikes. So that's the first section. You're going to take the hand right here, cut the hand, cut the hand and cut the hand. Obviously when you cut that hand, it's going to lead to you know, an instant disarm. That's the best disarm. That's the real disarm of Filipino martial arts is that we don't necessarily always come in and strip the weapon out of their hand. That may happen, but for the most part, we want to destroy the hand or remove the hand. Okay, we're going to take the function of their body away of being able to function that weapon. But sometimes, you know, if you have to go in a little bit closer, we need a different type of technique. That's where the deflections come in. So as I'm a little bit closer to my opponent, you know, I don't necessarily want to go for the hand here because the follow through of their weapon might still strike me. So this is where we have to go into what's called the deflections. Some styles or system will call this uh, four walls. Uh, it just depends, you know, what terminology your style or system it, it happens to use. So our first one is our inside deflection right here. Now, you're going to notice something. I'm going to try to use the flat edge of my blade. But sometimes, you know, we don't really, you know, if you have to use the main edge, then, then use the edge of the blade, right? I mean, it's, this stuff happens fast in real life. But if you can, right, you try to use that flat edge. Now, this is why in that drill, we had the left hand go on top. So that way we can stop the hand of our opponent. So that way we can stop that momentum. Okay, so we're going to stop that weapon from coming through into us. At the same time, we got to stop their hand from continuing on forward. From there, we're going to replace our hand and we're gonna cut 
This is gonna go anywhere from the hand to the elbow. We're gonna cut and then the first follow-up that we like to teach at Collie Center is the thrust. Thrust to the face, thrust to the neck, thrust to the heart, thrust to the lungs. Okay, you wanna thrust and you want that deep penetrating wound in pain. So once again, we have that inside deflection, stopping the weapon from following through, stopping the hand from carrying that follow through, cut the hand or elbow anywhere up there, and then thrust. So we have that inside deflection, but we also have the outside deflection. So there's a couple ways that you can do this. Sometimes we might have to use that main edge, but if we have the ability to, we can use the flat of the blade here and then circle the cut right there. So this is almost like a double attack. Boom! We're gonna use it to stop the weapon and then we also have to stop the momentum of the hand. So in Kali, we have to learn the skill of going in to the opponent. We have to bridge that distance and we're the ones that wanna go in. We don't want necessarily our opponent to be the one that's closing the distance. So if they're kind of rushing us and we have to go into that kind of more shorter, closer range, we want to meet that force, right? So we're going to come in as well, cut that hand, and then go right into the first follow-up, which is the thrust. So once again, we have that outside deflection, stop that momentum, cut that hand, wrist, or elbow, and then bam, follow up with the thrust, right to that fatal target right here. So we got one, two, and three right there, okay? Play that out work that out your inside outside deflections from part two so the deflections are really good for when you're dealing with a cut right you got a slash on slash but sometimes you got thrusts coming at you and we need some techniques so that way we can uh, fight against the thrusts so from here this is where we go into our parries so if that thrust is coming in and i'm kind of leaning more towards the inside I'm gonna go into a quick parry and then follow up with a thrust immediately. Now in Kali, okay, we have to avoid what is called the middle range. The middle range is where I hit my opponent and then their follow through, right, they end up hitting me. So we either need to stay out here at long range where we cannot get hit by the weapon or we need to close the distance and go all the way in, all the way. You're like a freight train going right through your opponent. So we have that inside parry and then the thrust right there. And the parry is really nice because it puts the weapon, your sword, into the thrust position that you literally just step right into it, okay? You don't have to poke your arm out or anything like that. It's already there. So parry and thrust, and right there. And then of course, we have to match that technique with a technique for the outside position. So I'm going to parry and thrust right there. Okay, parry and thrust. So imagine this is a thrust coming at me. I'm gonna parry that and thrust. The parry does a couple things. It's an insurance plan in case your footwork was really slow. So it knocks that weapon off course, but we're not gonna parry too far because if for some reason our opponent was coming back at us, then we can follow up with another tool, with a cut or another parry or a thrust or some other type of tactic. So we go into parry and then thrust. So when we're doing your solo training, work this out, all three parts of the form. Cut the hand at the long range. Then cut to cut with the deflections on the short range. Then work the thrust. Parry, thrust. Parry, thrust. And you can drill out each individual part of this little kind of mini sequence right here, but you have some great fighting skills, Kali sword fighting skills that you get to work on. This also works on sticks as well, but work this out. This, there's a transference of skill here that then transfers across all the other areas of Kali. Whether you're working with the sticks, the swords, the knives, the empty hands, the staff, the spear, right? we're gonna be following these basic fundamentals right here. But we're not only working on these different tactics and techniques, we're also starting to understand the different tactics for the different ranges, the long range and the short range. Hey, I hope that you like this video and you find it uh, informative and useful and that you're really gonna train this stuff, work it out solo. And you know, when you got time or 
anything, you know, go ahead and make one of these, these little collie, uh, collie arms or the collie dummy right here. It's a great training apparatus. I know a lot of you guys are always asking me, Paul, you know, I, I don't have a training partner. How do I train the stuff solo at home? You gotta have a little, you know, you, you gotta build a training partner, okay, just like I did. But it's also important that you're training the solo drills and the forms like we did in the beginning of this video. That way you master the movements and then you can start looking at the technical applications. And then when you got a friend, you can teach it to them and then you guys can work on the fine tuning of the range, the changing of timing, you know, with another actual, you know, live person on the other side. But your training doesn't have to stop. Your training doesn't have to not exist just because you don't have a school, you don't have a training partner over by you. Okay, we have all the great training gear over at our store at KaliCenter.com and if you want to dive deeper into the art of Kali across all the areas of Kali, all 12 areas, check out my online school. Join me over there at KaliCenter.com as well. I got the links down in the description below. Give this one a thumbs up if you appreciate it and uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you're not already and then I'll see you guys back here next time for some more Kali training, Kali fun. Woo!